Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. This is an exciting opportunity to learn more about protein, and specifically, cooking that perfect roast. I'm here today with our Rostelli team to talk a little bit more about how you can improve every meal that you make. And I will say this right now, I'm excited to learn about cooking this perfect roast because growing up, for some reason, mom, every time she went to cook a roast, forgot to take it out on time. And if we didn't have a great deal of gravy, the roast was not very good. And I gotta tell you something, tonight when you see how to cook that perfect roast, you'll understand why Rostelli Markets is the place that you want to get your beef. Now, I will also say this, <laughs> is that in addition to the great beef that is provided there, we've experienced their seafood and their pork and their poultry, and it's been all phenomenal. We're so excited to have the affiliation with Rostelli Markets, and most importantly, with the founder of Rostelli Markets, Ray Rostelli. Uh, he is in the Northeast. He has been an avid, no, let's just say passionate about his profession as being a butcher. He loves delivering the kind of food that only mom would serve. And it's been so exciting over the years to know him. I had the privilege of knowing him when I was playing with the Philadelphia Eagles. And he has a reputation around the stadium as the number one tailgater that has the best barbecue and the best ribs, the best steaks, everything you can imagine before the game. So I'd like to introduce our very own Market America Butcher, Ray Rostelli. Good afternoon, Ray. And it's great to see you. And um, you know, this year we're doing all the tailgating from our own driveways, but it doesn't stop us. We're gonna still do the same thing we've always done and get all of our friends and family together. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about my favorite roast of all. And this is one of the roasts that we actually do uh, bring to tailgates. Now, most people think of it as a holiday roast, but I think you're going to be really excited about this today. Fabulous. It's good to have you, and we can't wait to learn about it. You know, it's really turned into a learning experience, understanding the importance of the proteins that we take in on an everyday basis. It's something that's essential as our macronutrients that we need on a daily basis, and so many people just don't get enough of it. So, Ray, we are excited to learn. All right, so let's get into it. So you've got me in my environment because I'm in the butcher shop. You know, I love to cook, but my real passion is the craft of butchery. So I'm going to teach you a little bit today about butchery, then give you some really simple recipes that are foolproof and you'll absolutely love. But let's start with what we got to start with, which is our Black Angus prime rib. So this is a full rib of beef, Dennis. And what you see here is you see seven huge pieces of bone. Uh, you see lots of fat on the outside of it. And that's how we want it because that's how we want to age this. So let's think about this. This is black Angus beef that's come from small family farms that I've been doing business with for over 40 years, which means I've learned to trust my farmers. I know where the meat's coming from. You know who your butcher is. So what's critical about this black Angus beef, it's antibiotic free, which means our cows have never given are given antibiotics, which means we've got a healthier product, a healthier steer, and we've got steak that really is second to none. So we start with this beautiful black Angus rib that's antibiotic free, and then we age it. Now aging process, this whole rib is gonna age for about 28 days. Now what does the aging process do? Well, the aging process naturally breaks down the enzymes inside of that piece of meat. It takes all the outside moisture and it pushes it inside into the red portion of the meat, which is where we want it because that's where the flavor is going to come from. It's really where all the texture and tenderness is going to come from. So, so important to know where it's coming from and then what do you do before you even cut it. So, We've got this beautiful rib. This is about 22 pounds, this entire rib here. And of course, what we've got and we're going to show you is about a five pound rib roast, but it's not with the bone and with the fat. So I want to show you what we do. After we take this rib and we basically age it and we get it ready to go to you, we take it and then we peel the fat right off of the top because there's no reason to pay for this fat, and this fat's gonna do nothing in the cooking. 
It did wonders in the aging process, and that's where we're going to leave it. We also have taken it off the bone because you can't eat the bone, right? So we want to make sure that we give you that beautiful five-pound prime rib roast. And I'm going to look all the way around. Look at the marbling inside of that. That's what you want, the center cut, beautiful marbling, but trim because we don't want you to have to eat fat or pay for fat, right? We're not like the supermarkets to try to keep as much on there as possible because they're selling it to you by the weight, by the pounds, right? We want to make sure your eating experience is just like you would get at a soup, at a steakhouse, a great steakhouse. So we've got black Angus beef that's been aged for 28 days, that's antibiotic free, and we've completely done the work for you. So now you've got this perfect prime rib roast. Now, I've done some work in the past with you guys, Dennis, and we actually talked about our ribeye steak. So let me show you what you can do. If you bring this prime rib at home, this five pound roast, it's really simple for you to be able to take and make in the steak. So all you're gonna really wanna do is take that roast, because again, we've taken all the bone off it and all the fat off it, and you decide on the thickness. Maybe you've got somebody who wants a big, thick steak like you, Dennis, right? You love a beautiful steak. On it. Look at how simple that is, because it's boneless, and it is completely Ooh, trimmed. Look at it. So, this, yeah. isn't that nice? So, so, you've actually become the butcher at home, Dennis. That's how simple. But, you know, maybe your wife wants something a little bit thinner. So, it's okay because you're the butcher at home. But because we've done all the work for you and we've taken the bone off it and made it look it's as simple as that, you've got one for you and you've got one for your wife. And it's as simple as that. But you actually can play butcher at home and we've done all the work for you. So, for me, this is not just a versatile piece of meat that I can roast, but in this case, I made it in the steaks, and you can do that at home. Very, very simple. So roast, right? We're talking about roast. People get intimidated with roast, especially a rib roast, right? Because we know when we go out to a great steakhouse and we get a prime rib, it's usually wonderful if it's at a great steakhouse, right? You get a really nice flavor. It's incredibly tender. It's got a great bite and texture, and the aroma from the au jus is just wonderful. And then you go home and you try to duplicate that. It's really difficult, right? Because you don't have the technique or the oven or the expertise. But I am going to show you how I have been making my prime rib at home for the past 27 years and it is so simple and for 27 years it is perfect it's the hit of the day everyone comes but wants to come back and ask for more because it's so easy and you will be the expert your your prime rib will be as good as any steakhouse and there's a few secrets to it but we're going to give you all the secrets and we're going to give you all the ingredients so here's what we do we're going to move this one out of the way So we're going to take our prime rib, which is here, and you'll notice this butter on top here. We're going to make sure we give you butter. And butters, it's not just any butter. This is a roasted garlic and herb butter. So we've got some of the finest butter, but we've got real particulates in it, real herbs um, and different spices that go in there. And all I want you to do is cover the entire roast. Top and all the sides. Now you don't do the bottom, but when you're all done, it's going to kind of look like a cake. You're really just, you're going to spread this all over. I mean, it kind of looks really funny, doesn't it? It's, it's, um, but you will be amazed because this is one of those tricks that are used in the great steakhouse. So you're getting this prime rib at home, five pounds. You're getting this tub of butter, this garlic, roasted garlic and herb butter that you're going to cover every side, the top, just not the bottom. So really simple to do. And then once it's completely covered, you're pretty much ready to go. But while you were doing that, here's what I want you to do. I want you to set your oven to 500 degrees. Yep, 500 degrees. People think I'm crazy when I say this, but 500 degrees is the type of oven that is cooked in those, super, in those great steakhouses. So set your oven to 500 degrees, while it's getting up to temperature, you're buttering your roast. You're getting this entire roast covered with these beautiful herbs. Now, one thing I want to mention to you is this butter is so incredibly good, you can use it on your vegetables. You can use it on garlic bread. There's so many different things you can do with this butter. But for me, 
on the roast, it's perfect. So now that I've got my roast completely covered and I've got my oven set at 500 degrees, here's all you've got to do. You're gonna pick up your roast and you're gonna actually just take it and place it in that 500 degree oven. Now, I've got one in the oven that's already cooked, but simple as this. This goes in the oven at 500 degrees. You're gonna leave it sit in the oven at 500 degrees for 25 minutes. That's it, 25 minutes. But here's the secret. At the 25 minute mark, shut the oven off. Do not open the door for two hours. Really simple, right? 25 minutes in a 500 degree oven, at the 25 minute mark, turn the oven off. Leave the door shut for two hours. What that does, it recreates the type of oven that's used at these steakhouses. It cooks very, very slow over that two hour period. So the high heat of 500 degrees sears that prime rib. It takes all that butter and it covers it. It sears all that moisture inside of that rib. But now for the next two hours while your oven is off, and I do recommend stick a sign on your oven that says do not open because everyone's going to want to open the oven because it's going to make your house smell so incredibly good, right? So just don't open that oven. So two hours after you have shut the oven off, all you're going to do is open the oven, you're going to pull your roast out, and you're going to actually let it sit for about 10 minutes. Now, it really sounds crazy. And when I tell people about this recipe, they say to me, Ray, you're, you're nuts. A roast is not going to cook in 25 minutes, not a five pound prime rib roast. Believe me. Now, it's going to give you a medium to medium rare. If you want a little bit more uh, cooked, go an extra two or three minutes. But whenever you shut that oven off, remember, two hours in the oven. Now, I've given you along with the prime rib you're, and, and the butter you're gonna get, you're gonna get our recipe card. And the recipe card really explains exactly how to do this. It's very, very simple. So you don't have to remember everything I've said. I also give you some other ways to be able to utilize it, these, the butter, and different ways to be able to cook some sides that go with it. <clears throat> but one of the things that we created, which I think was just brilliant because people asked, is planning dinner. How do I do it? So when you get this planning guide at home, you're gonna see, it's really simple. If you wanna have dinner at three o'clock, put your roast in the oven at 12.25. Shut your oven off at 12.50. Pull it out of the oven at 2.50. Let it rest for 10 minutes, and at three o'clock, you're ready to serve. So see, we've taken all the guesswork out of it. We're giving you a great prime rib, Bones, center cut, completely trimmed, aged, antibiotic free, ready to go. We've given you know, butter, which you're gonna cover the top, the sides. You're gonna preset your oven at 500 degrees. You're gonna put it in, in 25 minutes. You're gonna shut the oven off. And in two hours later, you're gonna pull it out of the oven. So if you're gonna eat dinner at three or four or five or six or seven, this guide will be there for you so that you can plan it, especially around the holidays. We know how difficult planning is. Well, we want to try to make planning easier for you. So now, this used to be that holiday roast that I, I did every year, Dennis. Well, now it kind of becomes once a month roast in my house because everybody loves it so much. And, there, and there's a reason they love it. Um, and it's because it just works each and every time. There's no, there's no guesswork. Um, it's really simple. Let me pull this one out of the oven. It's been sitting in here for two hours. Ray, that looks absolutely amazing. I love the technique that you're doing. It's so simplified. And the fact that you're pulling this all together uh, so quickly, you know, it's it really, crazy. yeah, it really becomes simple. And, you know, roast can be intimidating to some people. They really can get to where people are afraid uh, at times that they're not going to be able to make this roast that the, investment they made in or the time that they've got to roast it or what temperature do I pull it out. Um, we've really tried to make it as simple as possible. Um, along with the recipe card, Dennis, as well, we're giving you a, a recipe for the au jus because, you know, the, the, the au jus 
the juice that's in the bottom of the pan that's going to come out after two hours. You're going to get these beautiful golden juices that come out of it. We give you the recipe to be able to use, to be able to mix, to create your perfect au jus. But what I love about this is it comes out perfect each and every time. So let me show you what this is going to look like when I carve it. So here's that beautiful roast. And the one thing I've been used to, what, what makes me feel best is with confidence, I can carve every time and get that. Look color on that roast. Look at the moisture that's in that roast, in that steak. And every slice is absolutely going to be perfect. I mean, and because of the technique that you, we have used to cook this, it's the same exact technique that is used at those great steakhouses. So let me give you a close-up look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. That is just beautiful, and it's easy, and it's perfect every time. So, you know, for me, I like things easy. I love being a butcher. Um, I've learned over the years the best way to be able to cook some of these different roasts. Um, and again, when folks come into butcher shop, they say to me, Ray, the butcher, it's, it's kind of, it's, I, I'm afraid of a roast. Please don't be intimidated. It is so simple to make a prime rib roast that you see here, that this is what should be on your table, certainly around the holidays. But for me, it's usually once a month because that's what my family's gotten used to. They just love the way this roast looks. They love the way it tastes. And it's easy and it's simple. So tips and tricks, planning ahead, sharing this recipe with, with people that you love. I'm telling you, um, you will be the hit of the party each and every time. It is my absolute favorite steak when I cut it. It's absolutely my favorite roast because it's so simple and works every time. So, Ray, you know, this is really exciting because this is one of those special occasion meals. And based on what we do, if you're a small business owner like we are as unfranchised owners and many of our clients that buy through shop.com, this is a great meal to entertain with and really show off. And it's so plannable. So when we go to Ristelli's.com through shop.com, how do I order this? Is this a, a special type of uh, meat that I look for? What am I actually? Yes. So, so you're, when you go to that back office, your back office and search for Stelly's, you're going to find that prime rib with the garlic and herb butter. You're going to be able to order that and then it's going to come right to your house. The rib will be vacuum packaged. It'll be frozen. And when it's because it's such a big piece of meat, you're going to want to leave that in your refrigerator for at least a day to two days to begin to thaw out slowly, right? And then once it's thawed out and you're ready to go, remember, it's simple as turn the oven on 500, butter your roast all the way around, tops and all the sides, right in for 25 minutes, shut the oven off for two hours, put the do not open door on there because believe me, everyone's gonna open. If you were here, Dennis, the smell is absolutely to die for. That's what you really get out of this, the flavor, the, the, the intensity of it. Um, but when, it, when, you, when you bring it home, you're going to love it. And, and you made a great point, Dennis. You know, when you're entertaining people, you want to make sure everything is perfect. This is perfect. I, all, I can also tell you that um, around the holidays, you want to impress somebody with a gift. This is an incredible gift because you've done all the work for them, right? You've given them the recipe. You've given them the planning guide. We've shown them how to make the au jus. And the most important thing is when it comes out of their oven at home, they're going to remember who it came from. And they're going to remember the quality of the product. Remember, selling this product or tasting this product, at the end of the day, if it's on your plate at home and you love the taste of it and your guests love the taste of it, they're going to go to buy it. Absolutely. That sounds great. You know, the other thing that I'm very excited about, you know, I got to get on there and order one of these things. I am entertaining a couple of my unfranchised partners that happen to be in the family. And so it's a beautiful way to entertain as a business meal since we don't go out to the restaurants as frequently. Yeah. I absolutely love what you're presenting. You've given us such a variety of things, you know, to think about and how we can entertain, how we can eat the perfect beef. I mean, everything that you've done. Now, again, I have to ask you, you know, how did this all evolve for you? Where did this love come from that, you know, you went in this direction? When did you really know that this is something that you were passionate about? 
You know, I, I, my very first butcher shop, I was 19 years old. My wife and I started it um, in the little town that I grew up in here in South Jersey called Oak Valley. Um, didn't know much about the meat business, um, but learned very quickly um, how to make a living because not only was it, it was my wife at 19 years old, but we had a little baby. Um, and it was time to really make a living, work really hard, spend lots of hours making sure our cats that walk into butcher shop get exactly what we would take home or what we would give to our mom. We have a really simple saying in the butcher shop, and that's if you wouldn't give it to mom, let's not give it to our guests. So we've been able to grow over the course of years and um, you know, open up many of the butcher shops. And you know, today the Ristelli organization is, is all over the world with great steakhouses that we serve all over the world. Um, Market America is our favorite partner. Um, we love being involved, Dennis, with you and the group. Um, you know, and the reason being, because you're just like me. You work really hard at what you do. You really have passion about your business. And I know what that feels like, right? I wake up every morning. I've been at this for going on 45 years now. I have as much fun today as I did when I was 19 and I started. So I love the whole Market America group, uh, getting to meet people and see people and realize that the same passion I have for my craft is the same passion you have for your craft. Thanks, Ray. You know, this feeds right into the mission and purpose of Market America, and we're really out there to help people convert their spending into earning. And, you know, we're doing it with technology, the power of people and affiliates just like yours, but ultimately the return not only in quality of food, but contributing to their own shopping annuity that actually contributes 100% to the entire organization. It is truly something. You put this with our shop groceries, and then now you have the Ristelli's. Literally, when you go out food shopping, you have everything that can be delivered right to your doorstep. I know we always look forward to getting our monthly Ristelli uh, shipment, and uh, we will continue to do that, but I'm looking forward to getting that roast and taking a shot at it. You know, my mom, who wasn't the greatest cook in the world, she sort of scarred me, but I'm going to tell you what, we're going to come back and we're going to do this right. We're going to follow your directions because I'm coachable. Yes. Now, you know, you're going to that. I just want you to know, but thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you. It's, it's been a pleasure, and um, if there's any questions anyone has, feel free. Just get a hold of us. We'll be able to answer them. Remember, we're all part of the same team. You bet. Thanks, Ray. And thank you for everyone to taking your time to go through this. I hope you'll order from Rostelli's through shop.com. And it's something we're very proud of, this partnership. And we're proud of each and every one of you. So convert your spending into earning. Make sure that you go to Rostelli Meats. But not only just for the beef. Don't forget about the seafood, the yes. poultry, the pork. They got it all. They're the complete source. Thank you once again. Make it a great day. Thank you.